Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Valentine and this little video of mine I would like to share with guys my latest essay on a subject that has been very important for me for some time past. I am an aspiring filmmaker. I also strive on writing uh, poetry and uh, uh, I, I sometimes experiment with uh, drawing and painting pictures. Uh, so um, my the, the, the subject the main, the main subject of my essay is um, uh, psychotherapy and art therapy in terms of the postmodern art form so i would like this subject uh, the so-called creative urge uh, emerging from mental of people living with mental health issues to be to be uh, 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 analyzed from a more uh, universal point of view uh, uh, relating so i would like to relate the art therapy and uh, whether it is capable of curing or dampening or even seizing the the mental health problems uh, I, I would like to relate it to uh, non-pathological uh, 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 postmodern art form so uh, to cut a long story short this was just a little int introduction before my essay my range of thought um, let me uh, start reading it so the title is called title of my essay is called uh, deconstructing the post postmodern art form in terms of art therapy it's undeniable that the creative urge uh, emerging from the mind of people living with mental health problems or with mental health issues has always been a place of interdisciplinarity and when you think think about interdisciplinarity has always been very uh, significant factor and crucial when when uh, the two main uh, 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 factors like science like medicine of, or or the practice itself uh, by practice i mean creating art a patient creating an art a work of art uh, so uh, or philosophy and art I has so it's uh, to deal with this subject. You have to always uh, take interdisciplinarity, interdisciplinarity into consideration. So science as and art therapy, the main focus on this subject concerning the post postmodern art, has always been very close to each other in terms of the question whether art is capable of dampening the symptoms or see or even seizing and uh, seizing the symptoms of mental health issues like depression or bipolar disorder schizophrenia or, or substance substance abuse disorder and so on and so on so it begs the question whether it, whether it, whether it is capable professional people of science of medicine has has been using this uh tactic or, or practice on patients for you know uh many 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 uh for some time past for me for uh over 50 years uh to my knowledge it's evident and obvious uh recognition for one's mind for your or my uh, uh conscience that art and whether it be visual art like a, a a bipolar or depressive patient uh, drawing pictures or, or or whether it be poetry or just writing you know in in uh, in the style of a diary can be very very uh, um, calming uh, for the patient and uh, it's it's uh, it has an impact of course it is it's obvious and evident uh, on his on his or her psychological well-being uh, which is uh, very suggestive you know very suggestive and begs the question of recovery true recovery after all art and art therapy has evolved from not just the point of the view point of view from the from its creator the artist but also this the receiver of the artwork so there is a community there is a collectivity between the two uh, factor the, the the two people the, the 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 artist and of course the receiver of the artist so it's it has an impact on one's mind it's and it's a collective impact so art is very significant uh, in psychiatry and psychology 
because it 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 is uh, it creates a collective collaboration between the doctor and the patient. But as I in, in the beginning of the video, I, I I mentioned that I wanted wanted this subject to be analyzed on a more universal uh, subject. Um, non pathological art is the same too. It's non pathological art is also a collective uh, conscience. You know, it creates a collective conscience and defines our society and it's more abiding and more important than consumers con consumerism for example or 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 uh, empty uh, uh, empty way of living so and uh, it, it, it's more more important and more significant to have a, a um, have a intelligent and uh, uh, um, striving for uh, for a uh, for a sense of of uh, collectivism between people, because I am myself a religious man, and I and uh, Happy Easter, of course, and uh, I would like to state that uh, 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 community is the most important part of our lives because we all want to belong to someone. And a psychiatric patient who is suffering from depression or bipolar disorder is no exception as well. We all want to be loved, you know. So, uh, getting back to the subject of my essay, uh, it is collective, a collective, uh, and I will quote uh, C.G. Jung, who in, his, in one of his uh, most important books stated the importance of collect collectivity. But now, uh, returning to the, to the deconstruction of the postmodern, uh, it's very um, crucial that the uh, universal uh, art, art theorists have been uh, uh, studying not just the doctors but also art theorists have been studying the work of Gadamer uh, and hermonology. So hermonology uh, became in the 20th, 20th century uh, the most important uh, way of uh, understanding and receiving a work of art and uh, interpret interpreting it inter and giving an interpretation from it. So hermonology is a non-pathological non way of uh, understanding uh, a painting, a poem, a novel, a sculpture, anything, you know, that is a work of art. Uh, but you know the postmodern art form changed everything. We hear of the we heard heard we had heard of the so-called anti-art, and I would like to uh, mention artists like Marcel Duchamp or Andy Warhol, who said that every, who, who, who they who, they stated that everything became art, and art ceases to uh, be of magnificent value because everything had become art even a, a can of uh, potato sorry a can of uh, uh, tomato soup you know the world's one one of world's famous uh, artwork so uh, the postmodern is 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 deconstructed has this de deconstructed uh, the way we viewed uh, uh, art itself, and uh, you know, uh, it's it's a sad thought, but it connected to consumerism as well. It and that is, that is uh, something that uh, I think, in my opinion, that is the conclusion of my video. That the postmodern art form uh, uh, transformed this uh, sacred sacred collectivity into a consumerism kind of uh, collectivity and this kind of collectivity led to uh led to uh in my opinion artworks that are not really that important that significant or valuable so i don't like andy warhol and i don't like marcel duchamp in in relating to uh deconstructing it deconstructing the uh our society and art form and of course i have to mention derrida who was a famous philosopher who dealt with the subject and danto artist danto who who begged the question whether art 
had died, had already died. And it's a sad thought, really. Uh, and uh, this um, idea, deconstruction idea by Derrida and Danto, uh, uh, got connected to the main subject, art therapy. And uh, the patient's uh, uh, works are sometimes not, uh, you know, uh, abiding or, or real art. You, you, you. Sometimes I have to admit, you can't call it uh, uh, real uh, of art of real value. So it's very connected to to the sad uh, ideologies of the 20th century by Danto and Derrida, that art uh, ceased to be what it used to be. So. I think uh, we should uh, get back to the main um, factors of our life, of uh, as a artist, to provide value, hope, and of course, collectivity and co and community, community with the work of art that you that you being given this gift this talent you you've been given by god so that's my video i think art is capable of seizing uh, mental health problems and it's a sad thing that the 20th century is ideology ideologies uh, uh connected to consumerism which i loathe so that was my essay thanks for listening subscribe to my channel if you like it bye